local public art program is expanding. We've told you about the Jiffy Lube mural project here on News 8 before. It started out as a way to cover up graffiti in Indianapolis, but it also lets high school students show off their talents. Really cool project on tap. In fact, News 8's Demi Johnson joins us live to tell us about all of it. Demi. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Well, if you've ever been to an Indianapolis area Jiffy Lube before, depending on the location, chances are you've probably seen a mural painted on the side of the building. In fact, there are 14 of those across the city. You can see a couple of them on your screen right now. All public art created by and painted by local artists. But we're going to take you over here and show you this big empty wall, which will soon become a canvas for the city's 15th mural. This is on West Thompson Road, and this one is different because it's going to be designed and created all by local students. It's still in the design process, but here's an idea of what it will look like. It'll also be the city's first 3D interactive piece. Part of the octopus you see on your screen right now will actually come off the wall through a pipe on the building. A dozen students from Decatur Central High School are working with local artist Carl Leck and some of their art teachers on the project. All of the supplies for the project are being donated by Jiffy Loop of Indiana. A kind of a fun way to capture people's attention and to make people think, hey, if Jiffy Loop can do that, maybe other people should be doing that as well. Because one of the things my wife and I see when we drive around town now is there's canvas everywhere. There's an opportunity for public art everywhere. We narrowed it down and we like what we came up with and it, it wasn't something where the adults just said, hey, this is what we're going to do. Uh, the students kind of helped steer where we wanted to, what direction we wanted to go in. Jiffy Lube of Indiana will, was also recently honored with the Americans for the Arts National Arts and Business Partnership Award. It's one of only 10 U.S. companies to be honored for that award and the first company in Indianapolis to receive the honor. The company says it plans to expand this program into other high schools and it will award $1,000 to one student who works on the project. Back to you. We're getting some mileage out of this because I want to see the octopus now. I know. Yeah. It's really 